Hello, I'm Lola and welcome back to this next part of the Mass Effect series. Um, so last time we finished the Aria Omega DLC and we were just, well, we just arrived back on the Normandy so I'm guessing we're just going to check the war terminal. Um, I can't remember if I did that last time. And the private terminal and see what we have to do and then we'll carry on from there. So yeah, I think I did read this last time. I honestly can't remember how I ended the last episode. Um, I think I did the war terminal but not much else. So I think we'll head out of here. See if there's anything on the private terminal. My guess is there's not going to be much to say to anyone because it was a DLC. So it's not really adding anything extra in terms of main quest or dialogue. Commander. Yeah, so anything in the private terminal. And unfortunately, I bloody have these left in my... I think I have these forever. In my journal now which is a bit annoying to be honest i thought i assisted the mechanic but i clearly didn't i haven't watched back the last episode yet because i watch it back when i edit it um so i can't remember if i actually assisted the mechanic can't do anything about that now to be honest and i never did find the sofa so <laughs> well screw that A memento from Aria Tullock. A memento sent uh, sent you a little souvenir of our adventures on Omega Shepherd. Fittingly enough, the king sustained a crack. <laughs> Aria. Well, that's done. I wonder if we'll have a see. Will she be in the Citadel? I guess she might still be in the. No, I suppose because she's back on Omega now. I was gonna say she'll be might be in Purgatory, but that might have been the last we saw of her after she kissed us. Jesus. Commander. Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. <laughs> I wouldn't categorize her as Mom, especially with what you've been doing together now, so, well. At least you're in a romantic relationship. I'm not sure if it's sexual. But still, Mom, mm, unless you have a kind of kink for that not really the dialogue i'd go for <laughs> i'm just gonna check if Caden's jealous of me because i kissed um well she kissed me aria not gonna be because it's a dlc oh samara god damn oh he's not in the crew quarters oh he's in the yeah starboard observation lounge or deck should i say hey shepherd hey shepherd no, okay, nothing to say. Well, in that case, um, we'll head back to the galaxy map. Right, what we're going to do, thank you, by the way, so much for the comment. I've got it here on, if I can get into my phone, on the Batarian codes. I was going to spend a lot of time in between these episodes. In fact, I did a little bit looking for them and I just, I didn't know where to start. So I have been given the locations for them and thank you for that because like I say, I would have spent a long, long time doing that. So I don't consider it a spoiler. Um, I do appreciate help on like fight, fetch stuff quests that I know is going to take me hours to find by myself. I'd rather have a comment on it. So yeah, first we're gonna see if there's anything else to scan and then we're gonna go back to the Citadel and quickly do that quest. I'm gonna have a look in my journal to see if there's much more to do, but from what I can tell, I've not got like the locations available yet for the other quests, but we'll see. Let's go to the At Atican. Just gonna see if the Reapers are still after me or if I can evade them. My hair is really, apologies if I'm touching my hair a lot. I've had a haircut and it's very short and it's annoying me a little. Where the heck is this final thing? Evasion successful. I guess I entered from the correct side. Yeah, I don't know where this is. Reapers eluded. Let's at least go to Theseus. 
or thesis. Like I say, it's probably just fuel that's on these planets, but still, I feel like I need to complete them. Aha! Found it. I think it's fuel. Yeah. Good. It was, it was just bugging me. Faster than light jump successful. Right. Don't think we can do the other planet, so we'll just head back to the mass relay. I'm trying to scan while we're on the way, but... Yeah. We'll come back to the Atticum uh, beta. At least we know there's only one one thing to find, and my guess it might be fuel. Um, the Hades Gamma. I was going to say we have something in there, but no. The other two things are the Hades Nexus, aren't they? They're in there, not the Hades Gamma, so... Yeah. Might just be fuel again. It's really annoying that there's just... <laughs> one thing to find is there a planet like i was gonna say if there's a planet out here these reapers just seem to come really quickly oh is it this little planet here nope i have no idea where this is should we come in from the north Will this, like, work? I'm wasting fuel here. Yeah, I honestly don't know where this thing is. Faster than light jump successful. We'll try one more before we have to get sent back to the mass relay. I didn't know you came in. Thank you for that as well, for the tip. Um... Didn't know the side you came in was the side you <laughs> landed on. I know that's stupid. Successful. Yeah, that's pretty screwed right now. All right, well, let's just go to the Krogan place because I know there's fuel there. Buy some fuel. Okay, anything else to scan the Apian Crest? There's still quite a lot. I'll do these two. I have a feeling I might be doing a priority mission soon, maybe even in this episode, so I kind of just want to see what I can do in terms of scanning. Oh, there's a fuel place here, that's good. Don't think there's anything to scan here, I would have got it, I think. Yes, yeah, this place. I discovered two already, I forgot about this. Fuel? Pharos, I'm not sure if I've read this already. Pharos is an astri asteroid, asteroid, asteroid toad near the class B blue giant uh, Gemme or Gemme, Gemi, to serve as a terrestrial military base in a system devoid of planets. A vast array of solar collectors, uh, collectors, absorb energy from the star and beam it to receptors near the tidally locked asteroid's terminator zone. Beneath the surface, dozens of particle accelerators generate anti-protons for starship fuel. The Reapers sent a substantial force to uh, Jemay's system, but found that the Turians were capable and prepared to defend their Armada's fuel source. Warning messages say the Reapers are still present in the system, awaiting reinforcements. At present, Turians can still refuel, but only because they committed forces here that could otherwise have defended Palavan. Yeah, good point. Oh, 
Oh, a war asset. Nice. Turian 79th Flotilla. Don't think that was a journal quest. Cool, that's done. Uh, let's head back. Have a drink while I'm out in space. Right, let's try this. Nura. Still have something to discover there. Just checking if there's any small planets anywhere. Aha, found it. Fuel, because it's not near a planet, yep. Brilliant. This place is all done, I think. Yeah, 100%. Nice. Um... Did I do the Exodus? No, I didn't. These two I did, and we couldn't get everything. I'll just do the Exodus cluster, and then we'll head to the Citadel. Oh, it's the dreaded Asgard. <laughs> Let's have one more attempt at this. Jesus Christ, the amount of times I've been back here. <laughs> it's probably just fuel as well, but it's just... I want it 100% and it's really bugging me. Is it this little planet? No, we've checked Loki. I remember this. Right, we've not done like the bottom this side. So let's enter the system from here. This is ridiculous. The top? Uh, I'm going to close. Right, we'll have one more go. From this side. I don't know. I have no idea where this asset is. Honestly, forget Asgard. <laughs> Right, let's get some fuel and then we'll go to the Citadel. Citadel? Said that odd then. We will dock. Uh, Alliance docks. Not doing the two DLCs just yet. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need right? Have it on board? here where I need to go. Um, Memorial Hospital is the first one, so we'll go there. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Um. Oh, hi, Jacob. Something else? No. <laughs> I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. I forgot you were here. You gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again. Like I say, I do. I take care, Jacob. Do get it if you romance too, him. It'd be so awkward I'm speaking to Jacob here. right now. Stay safe. I'll have to watch his romance because I don't think I'll ever do it, personally. Um, 
But does he get back together with you, or is he just left you now for... Because it'd be really bad on this other woman who's especially pregnant. Here it is. To get back with you, but that's just awkward. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Um, I can with my trusty YouTube comment. <laughs> One second. Normandy Dock. Thank you again, this is so helpful. I would have been just running around the Citadel for half an hour. I suppose it, it does mark it off so it's not as hard, but... Just gonna listen to this conversation a sec. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant Ormby? No, Private. We are not. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Apparently this quest has something to do with the uh, DLC from the first game as well. I unfortunately, because I was still learning the ropes in the first game, I missed that DLC, which I'm really, really annoyed about because I usually do... I'd like to think I'm a thorough player, but I was really annoyed at that. Um, so this quest, apparently it's related to that DLC. I'm not sure how, um, but I probably won't have that knowledge because I didn't do it. So apologies for that. Right, just the last location. Refugee camp. Got it. Spectre status recognized. Please select the destination. Um This bit the holding area, I think. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. You weren't there before these people. Got be somewhere around here. Not talking to the preacher again. Do you have anything to say, Zaid? Anything else? Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, you've already said this, I think. Shouldn't study the job long. Nothing here, I don't think. Ah, shit. I don't believe it. What's happened, James? Where are you? the console they're on the map i guess it's if i marked off the first one god damn i could have done it through the map <laughs> oh well i know now um i want james first before i do the console where is he here he is i don't believe it is he losing hey commander james enjoying yourself i'm stuck Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a line's property. <laughs> a little faith, locals. I have a little. Do I? I don't think I do. You just gonna stand there and watch? Yep. I wish, although I like to say Caden's my number one, but I wish James was a romance. 
I guess he's a female romance, but I would have loved to have tried his romance as well. I might have to play as a female and romance him. Um, if it's an option, I'm not completely sure. Is or is he just a fling? Commander Shepard, Captain Kahero Balak, Batarian External Forces. I've been waiting for this. Have I met Everything you? Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. Can't remember. Sorry, I've... So many characters in this game, I do forget who they are. Blame yourselves. The Batarians made enemies throughout the galaxy. And now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. <laughs> uh, join us, you need me. You need me. You're not going to pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes. Forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships. The last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. You're not gonna. I'm too persuasive. That's good. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? No, he's joining I me. I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making <laughs> some sacrifices today. I'm so sassy. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Cool. Plus seven Renegade? I guess that's done. War asset. Oh, have you won, James? <laughs> right. I will... I think I'm going to go to the Spectre Terminal just to check if there's anything else. But the rest, I... believe I can't access right now. If I can, I do apologise. I have missed them. I hope they don't... disappear from my journal. Um... I can't access the Hades Nexus. I see no Cilean Nebula. Don't know where that is. I have not come across the Takuna. That's DLC. That's DLC and I can't find the rest of these. Let's hope these don't go from my journal, but I think after I've done the Spectre Terminal, the Priority Perseus Veil might be the next step. Uh, you lost again. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah, these parents. Oh, I feel bad. Probably dead. That's sad. Right, let's quickly head up to the Spectre Terminal just in case. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Up to the embassies. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Oh yeah, transfer author authorization, Private Televi. Private Televi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaged against Reaper hostiles. A note from Surgeon Alembe 
um, says that Private Talavi is an exceptional engineer recommending her for duty on a team set to sabotage Reaper processing centres. Spectre authorization would fast track this request. Yeah, I can do that. Cool. Authorised everything else, I think. Yeah. Got an Alliance third fleet. I don't think there's anything... Nothing I need in particular that I can buy from here, is there? Reaper code fragments, Cerberus ciphers. No, I don't think I can get anything from here. Okay, well, in that case, we'll head back to the Normandy. Right, let's let's head back. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Quick way to do it. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't figure that out before. Right, nothing in my private terminal, I don't think. No. Let's Commander. Just check my war assets quickly. So this should be a Batarian fleet. Batarian refugees are rallying around the pillars of strength. This one. As the highest ranking officer left in the uh, hegemo hegemony. Hegemony? Hegemony? Oh, for God's sake. Balak is now the last Batarian military leader. His leadership, drive, and barely contained fury has galvanized his troops. While Balak bears a deep hatred for the Alliance, he would do anything to save his people. And has grudgingly joined forces with humanity to stop the Reapers. I wonder how much that gave us, how many war assets that gave us, because I can't remember what we had before for the Batarian fleet, but that's good. Almost at 5,000, which is cool. Is this the update? The SSV Nairobi is a top of the line cruiser with a showroom finish of a ship just off the factory line. As it has never seen warfare, the Nairobi's officers have been running mock battles in preparation for real enemy contact. Sure. Turian. The Turian 79th Flotilla distinguished itself during the Krogan rebellions when they clashed, uh, when they clashed with Krogan warships above Digeris. The 70 Knights sacrificed themselves in great numbers to bring down Krogan vessels attacking the colony. Centuries later, the flotilla continues to rely on speed and stealth to harass the enemy. They run interference, divert fire, and make bombing runs on enemy ground units until anti-air defences manage to target them. Well, that's done. It might be time now to do priority Perseus Vale. Is that what it was called? So I talked to everyone last time and no one's got anything to say and I'm kind of at an impasse with the other quests. So I might do this. The Korean fleet offers both technical specialists and support ships to assist with the Crucible. Meet the Korean admirals and obtain their help in the war effort. Shall we do this? Let's very quickly do a hard save yeah let's let's head on this hopefully i'm doing it at the right point in time hopefully i've not missed much
Right, far rim. Speak with the Quarians. Anything to scan in Dolan? Don't think so. No, because there would be Reapers after us by now. Okay, we'll enter the orbit. Korean Envoy ship. This diplomatic frigate is like no Korean ship on the record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Koreans developed this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming message are being tight-beamed to the Normandy. We'll dock. Commander Shepard. Oh, hello. Pleasure to see you again. Yeah. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I remember you. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? 17 days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Jesus. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared oh, to hi, Morgan. covering our home world <laughs> and advanced AI technology. Uh, tell me about your history. Your home world? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. I've been saying Rannoch. 300 years ago, Whoops. we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them. We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Um. I agree, the Koreans. To be honest, I'm more inclined to. The renegade path on here isn't really what I agree with. Like them just murdering the Geth outright. And the Geth taking their homeworld or fighting with them as is their right. It, I prefer a more neutral standpoint in this, personally. Um, so I don't agree with it being it wasn't murder. It was murder in that regard, I think. So I might be going with more Paragon options here, I'm not sure. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a headache. AI. <laughs> it was Shepard nice. is not doing good. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. Invading was a mistake, I disagree. Invading was a mistake, if I'm being honest. Like, at this... Like, the principle of murder and invasion, my shepherd's not against, but he is against invading at this current time and as well he quite likes the geth to be honest invading against the geth it's just don't bother admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal it is a suicidal invasion plan and it's not the time to do it right now um personally so it was a mistake i think you're throwing yourselves at the geth again and this time we may have destroyed our people for good We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And then you counter a trap attack, letting you retreat. I'm not looking for a war with the Geth right now, if I'm being honest. Um... I know it's the renegade thing to do, but it's just not worth it at this point in time in my mind, and I just prefer the other option to this, so I prefer to let them retreat. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. 
Our newest admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. This tally. I assumed it might be. Hello. Reporting for duty. Nice to see you again. Admirals. Missed you. Team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. Do you remember when I awkwardly turn you down in Mass Effect 2? I remember that. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I want to help. I came for the fleet. Uh, to be honest, I did come for the fleet. I'm not gonna... lie about that. Um, in terms of the war, I would prefer just to make them all retreat and then we fight the Reapers together. Um, so I need a stronger fleet for that. I came for the fleet. I came hoping your fleet would help me retake Earth. Don't worry. We pay our debts. Lannister always pays his debts. We've got the <laughs> Sorry. largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help? I think Legion's here as well? I'm an admiral. People I haven't seen him. Me for guidance. Or it. This agreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Sounds good. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Okay, so... Could we have a talk with Tally first? Maybe. Is she on here? Ah, she is. Okay. <clears throat> that might be something to do first then. Cool. The Corians have tried to retake the homeworld from the Geth. Unfortunately, the Geth have been upgraded by the Reapers and the Corian fleet is trapped. Travel to the Corian home system and disable the Geth Dreadnought, broadcasting the Reaper control signal. Yeah, we'll do that. I think we will... Where was Tally again? In the war room. Commander. We'll speak to Tally a second and Ran. Um, and then we'll get going with that, I think. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. Will do, um, but first, patrol fleet? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. And civilian fleet? Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Medical vessels and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Who has the largest fleet, yeah. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. We need Even these for the Reapers. Uh, that's, that's smart. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a Dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real Dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. And my fingers are dirty as hell, so sorry. <laughs> heavy fleet. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. 
It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Okay, so we did say that. Um, Admiral Zen? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. <laughs> Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. Oh, good to know. We will hopefully get this solved for I'll you. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. What was that? Is that a greeting? Okay. Uh, where's Tally? She's up here, where Rex was originally. Um, hello. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. Um. History? Yeah, we'll start with the top. How did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Yeah. Very humble. Uh, war history. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning counter. I'm surprised we haven't heard more about this in conversation. Scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Sounds useful. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the oh, Geth. That's a shame. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. And back with the Corians? How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. Can you join me? When this is over, I could use yeah, your help. Yeah, companion? I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. Yeah, you might not have a homeworld after know. all of this. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Maybe once this is resolved, we could have you along. That'd be good, Legion. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. And since the attack? Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? Maybe, yeah. I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. Legion been betraying your own alive? People. I never wanted to be an admiral. Well, I never necessarily want to be commander of bloody saving the world, but talk to you later. <laughs> if you want we'll to take what we can get. Private, call me up to your cabin. Can I do that now? Should we do that now? Commander Shepard. Hopefully there's no time limit on the other quest. We'll try it now, see what you have to say. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Pretend it's been like a couple of hours. <laughs> Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. 17 million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. It's not your responsibility. People will die. Accept it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> as awful as it is to say. I'm going to say it. Even if we defeat the Geth, you will lose more ships, Tally. You need to be ready for that. 
My father All battles mean losses. Commanders mourn losses, not people. He didn't think he could make the big decisions, the ones affecting the whole fleet, unless he put people at a distance. It's kind of what I do. I don't think I can do that. Maybe I'm not meant to be an admiral. They need you here. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Talon. And thanks. I should get back before the admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Mm, we will. Sorry, my eye is watering. <laughs> Bear with me one second. Sorry, I had something stuck in my eye then. Um, I wasn't crying at Tally's reunion, but I see where she's coming from. Um, but we've got to make sacrifices in all of this, and I feel like she's what they need at the moment, so can't really do anything about it right now. Um, let's go back to the information centre. And... I think we'll do the Dreadnought. Yeah, the Corians have tried to retake their homeworld from the Geth. Unfortunately, the Geth have been upgraded by the Reapers and the Corian fleet is trapped. Travel to the Corian home system and disable the Geth Dreadnoughts broadcasting the Reaper control signal. I think we will do that. So it's no use sitting around, really. Um, let's go out there. Perseus Vale. Anything to scan before we go? Disable Dreadnought. Can we enter the migrant fleet? this to do now a flotilla of 50,000 craft holding over 70 million Corians the migrant fleet is the largest array of space-faring vessels in the known galaxy it is a testament to the Corian strat strategic skill that these numbers have not dropped significantly during recent battles the fleet is now on the far side of the star from Renok um, the better to cloak its movement from the Geth The debris field. Close to the star, uh, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh uncountable number of Geth statites, satellites that use solar salis to self correct their position. The Geth place the ultra lightweight constructions around the sun to collect energy, arranging in a vast array known as a Dyson bubble. Scattered among them are space stations and severs that draw power from the statites uh, through wireless energy transfers. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar sails. Did I say Salus? I did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Have also been destroyed. It appears the Corians begin began to destroy them, but were stopped before the attack was complete. Jesus Christ, Salus! <laughs> Can we enter Renok? I want to read this. Although its orange sun is only about 90%, the mass of Sol and half as luminous, Renok is arid by Earth standards because it formed closer to its star and has slightly less ocean coverage. Photosynthetic Photosynth life is concentrated around rivers and oceans, with large expanses of desert in between. The importance of plant life and shade in ancient Korean culture is evident in the translation of Renok's name, Walled Garden. Um, to a starship sensors, the most obvious feature of the Corian homeworld is the numerous heat sources in orbit. Thousands of Geth space stations watch over the planet. Somewhere in this artificial swarm of constructions lurks the Geth Armada, waiting for its moment to counteract. Population unknown, Corian estimates on the number of Geth range from the tens of millions to the single digit billions. Estimates on the number of Geth consens consensusness stored in severs are far higher. Well, good on reading that. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. 
Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Renok reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ships laser to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Korean fleet appears minor at best. Let's dock. I do have Tally then, either as a permanent squad member or a part-time one, I'm not sure, but I feel like... She could be permanent if she's on the menu. Nice. Go with the original. Um, of course I'm going to choose Caden. <laughs> Tally and Caden. God, Mass Effect 1 companions. Nice to have you back. Gonna have to level Tally up as well. Is the Katana the best one? Probably. Let's modify. We'll go with accuracy and damage. Yeah, let's go with the predator because it is, has been upgraded to two. Let's just go with accuracy and damage again, honestly. I think me and Caden are both fine. Um. Could have another gun to be honest, because my weight's so low, but we'll leave it for now. Oh my god, Caden, you have a lot of points. Um, oh yeah, because I've been on the Omega DLC, so I haven't had him along, that makes sense. <laughs> and I leveled up quite a bit there. Um, increases damage by 15%, hit one additional target within 8 meters um, with 60% less damage. Let's do this. Damage. Damage protection, let's do that. Might as well put two in there. Cool, and Tally, 75, Jesus Christ. Um, Corian Machinist boost, or Machinist um, boosts power recharge speed, shields, barriers, and health. Let's put that up to there for now. That's 69. <laughs> I'm so immature. Um, deploy this holographic drone to electrocute enemies within its firing range. That'd be a good one. Recharge damage. Go with energy drain. And sabotage recharge impact radius i'm tempted to do more in combat than in defense stuns targets yeah that'd be a good one drone explodes when destroyed dealing 210 points of damage no i'll go with just damage in general Um, yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Recharge speed of drones power. Squad mate tech. I'm going to go with drone. Let's go with combat. Let's fully do this. Upgrade drones short range attack to deal 245 of damage across a 2.5 meter radius. Um, drone stuns enemies for short duration. I like that one. Drones electrical pulse to jump and hit three additional targets. Long range rockets that deal. Oh, that's a good one. Tally might be handy to have along. Synthetics explode when destroyed, dealing 612.5 points of damage. 
be a lot of explosions. <laughs> Berserk. I like the name of that. Let's go with that. Cool. Tally's all done. Caden's done. I'm done. Let's confirm. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several That's not good. ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. <laughs> Getting ready for all this. Engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. <laughs> Jesus, look at this. Oh my lord above. My Bloody hell. signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to see you again, Tally. You too, Caden. How's the Omni tool? Still using the logic arrest? It's still the best model. <laughs> Not for running multiple attack processes simultaneously. You need a Nexus. Nexus shield enhancements are years behind the curve. That's why you overclock the microframe. Shepard, there's a problem. Look at these two nerds talking. <laughs> Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Right. So is that journal updated? Um. Yeah. I can't save the game. Cool, okay. Well. Oh, it's just me. Well, this is fun. Is this how I get across? This is making me very dizzy right now. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Damn. Don't know why, but this is making me really dizzy. <laughs> Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. I assume this is what I'm meant to do, just walk to the areas that are open to walk to. Have a drink while I'm walking. How are you doing, Shepard? Dizzy. The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. Yes. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. <laughs> hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Get don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. When the Gath are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. <laughs> I do love Joker. Here we are. Jeez, it's how I'm floating. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Uh, perhaps not. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. 
Cool, okay. Is it just... It is just me. Um, I'm going to save the game. I think we're going to continue this next time. So we docked here. Um, it's a good place to end. Very exciting quest. Good to see Tally again. But yeah, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next part. Goodbye guys.